and what's going on fam fontaine here the vip soundlab.com and i just had a video request on using the sidechain input and i'm also going to show you a couple of tricks and techniques that you can use with the sidechain input that way if you want to duck a little audio because a lot of times sidechain is not just for bass or kicks you know you can use it for vocals too but in this tutorial video i'm going to show you a way that you can use what's called a ghost note and the trick i want to show you a lot of times that i've i've done a couple of times and you know, I learned from a couple of engineers is called ghost chaining or rather it was called uh, ghost triggering the side chain input. And I'll show you how this works. So, for example, I wanted an overpowering bass. So you, if you want to turn your monitors on so you can follow along, I'm using the massive sub. OK, it's under types, bass, sub bass, and it's, it's a bass uh, called boss up if you want to follow follow along at home. So that comes uh, factory stock in the uh, machine two library. All right, so I have this bass line, just a simple bass line, just riding up and down. And over here, I have just a simple drum loop. It's gonna turn this on, we'll mute the bass for a minute. All right, just a simple loop for the video. So let's go ahead and turn the bass on with that. All right, so you notice that the kicks are clashing with the bass. You know, if you have your monitors on, you can notice how that can get a little muddy. And, you know, we want to notch out some of that, that massive bass right here. So I'm going to show you one trick, one thing that I do. For example, here's a vinyl kick. Okay. And what I did was I duplicated the kick here. You can see right here, these are the exact same kicks. Okay. And I put them on the mono uh, waveform there. So what you can do, you can right click here. I'm using the selection tool here. Okay. I'm using the software right now, by the way. What you can do in your keyboard, you hold down the alt key, you grab these notes. Okay. You notice how these notes immediately got duplicated. Okay. So like this, it's going to be too powerful because these kicks are actually um, doubling up. I have this kick turned down just a little bit. So that gets into more like parallel compression, you know, or the New York style of, uh, you know, layering drums. But I'll get into that in another video because from that point, you'd have to do uh, some more work to this. But you notice right here, that song group. OK, so if I was to play these two kicks together. You know, of course, I had this turned down, but that's going to be, you know, a little too much. So where it says group right here, we're going to go none like this. You see right here, we're not getting any levels on that. Now, we're not getting any levels on that, and that's a good thing because that's what we want to do. And I'll show you why that's important in just a second. All right. So under the massive plugin. All right. I chose the supercharger plugin, so let's go ahead and bring that up. All right, so here's a supercharger plugin, and I have a preset in here under user. My ghost trigger setting I have here, because basically what happens is I want to get a good pumping effect, and I'll show you some different examples on here. Because if you go right here, okay, under your side chain input, this is where you're going to find it right here. You know, you have the master level, a group level, as well as the sound level, okay. When the plugin icon here, we're not under the channel properties here. We're under the side chain input here. All right. So here's the source. Now you notice right here, it gives you what you can use to trigger the side chain. You notice that in this particular group here, you see the sounds, but you do not see the ghost note. Okay. So what we have to do is you have to go back. Okay. Over here, this is our base group. Okay. We want to go back. Okay, under this particular group here, where the drum sounds is, where it says audio out is why it's not showing up because I don't want this audio to play. So here's where the trick comes into play. You switch this to group, okay, just momentarily. You go back over here to your massive plugin, okay. You notice how the ghost trigger note now appears, okay. You select that. You see right there it says from group A1 sound two, okay. Now I go back to group A. I turn this one to none. Okay. That way, when I play the audio, we do not get the 
the levels or the audio coming in from this kick. Okay. So now when I go back here, okay, you notice again, it doesn't show up, right? But if you look here, it's still getting triggered from the ghost note. Okay. So when I play the audio, we now can use the supercharger plugin to duck the bass using this ghost note. here to where you feel okay well the kick is coming through prominent it's ducking the bass and I can squeeze the drums a little more if I want so you hear that ghost note is ducking the bass now of course this is something I would not want to do that because that's a little too much but I just wanted to show you I just wanted to show you that that ghost note is actually triggering. Okay, because if I go here and let's say if I solo the master group, completely kill the audio in this group here. You notice how it's not doing anything. Okay, so when I go back to the group here, let's go to the mixer here. Let's say if I solo this ghost note like so. So I'm going to solo the ghost note, kill all these notes here. Go back to massive. So, in other words, the supercharger plugin is getting triggered by a note that's not even existing. Uh, <laughs> on the 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 arranger here because you notice here here's the notes here but there's no sound coming off there's no audio coming off it so it's, it's basically called ghost triggering so i thought that was a pretty cool tip i wanted to share with you and let me go ahead and just uh play that one more time Right, then I go back to my mixer here and basically unsolo that joint. All right. So now what happens is you see right here. So those kicks are now coming through a lot more prominent thanks to our sidechain input using the ghost trigger. It's your boy Fontaine, the VIP Sound Lab. Be sure to come by the website. It's www.vipsoundlab.com. If you have any questions or concerns, hit me up. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.